G'day viewers. Just in case you missed the memo, Blackmagic just announced the Pixis 12K, which begins shipping in July. This is an amazing camera for many reasons. It has the same full frame 12K sensor as the Ursa Cine and can shoot open gate 4K, 8K, 12K at frame rates up to 112 frames per second. It has an upgraded USB port for faster SSD recording speeds, plus 10G Ethernet. However, one feature that did not get a ton of attention in NAB is that the Blackmagic REST API ships installed in the Pixis 12K. So let's cut to the chase. For those of you unfamiliar with Blackmagic's REST API, this feature allows you to control the camera's functions such as record, focus, iris, frame rate, ISO, hue saturation, etc., all over HTML via a PC, Mac, iPad, or a phone. We know the Pixis 12K camera can be controlled via Bluetooth, but Bluetooth only works up to 30 feet. Also, Bluetooth is not typically used by professionals due to its reliability or lack thereof. Imagine I have a multi-camera live shoot. Through software talking to the individual camera's REST API, I can control all of these cameras from a central location via HTML, and I can be located anywhere in the world. Most importantly, I can transfer the raw recordings from any and all cameras to a NAS, again over HTML and at 10G speeds. Now, you may say this is all very well for a major production with Ethernet and power connected to the cameras. However, the REST API can also be used by a single shooter to overcome challenging environments by using wireless HTML control more than 10 times the distance of Bluetooth. Say I'm hanging a camera off a car or a drone or somewhere not easily accessible and I need to make changes on the fly. Or I'm filming a nature series. I can set up the camera in a remote location with the operator safely and warmly located in a blind hundreds of feet away. Using wireless video transmission, I can monitor my subject and only hit record when I need to, thereby saving valuable hard drive space, especially when filming in 12K. Here is how you set it up. First, I mount a wireless router. These typically cost under $50, so it's not a great expense to convert the camera to wireless HDMI. You simply plug the router into the RJ45 port on the camera and provide power via USB to micro USB cable. For this demo, I'm using my phone running custom HTML code that talks directly to the camera. Once I connect the camera to the router, I can log into the router and access the camera's REST API via my phone. I'm a big fan of presets, so my first preset is ISO 400, 5600K, and 23.98 frames per second. Plus, my audio recording settings are set to XLR. I can also have multiple presets with multiple frame rates and other settings depending on what I'm shooting. Now I'm connected, I can easily adjust the white balance and exposure, all with the click of a button. I can also adjust focus or zoom if a power zoom lens is connected. With everything set up, I just hit record and hit stop when I'm finished. Wireless camera control via Blackmagic's REST API opens up new applications of this camera. With a combination of wired and wirelessly controlled cameras, I can cover large areas for filming reality TV, concerts, and documentaries, all from one central location. 
the wildest possibilities are only limited by your imagination and about 350 feet. If you've enjoyed the content of this video, hit subscribe and don't forget to hit the like and notify buttons so you will know when the next video is posted. I hope you will see me in the next video. Cheers.